I started learning to program computers since I was 11. And the first thing I learned was, uh, was in a statement that I got it at university and every course I went the following years. We make software in order to uh, replace humans. We want to take over the tasks that humans are taking responsibility on. And in that way, that's how we make our money. As simple as that. So if you find something or learn something that a human does that you can replace it with a software, that's where your livelihood is going to come from. And that was simple. But that idea is an operating principle behind all the technology that will be developed in the 80s, 90s and today. We are going to displace probably 40 to 50 percent of the human capital, the human capital in the market globally. And that is within the following 10 years. Uh, so that's shocking. And it's disruptive, tremendously disruptive socially. But the, the people that work in technology is not really uh, concerned about that because a big business behind. So my approach is different. I feel that we can change the design principles. So instead of um, displacing humans with our software, we can create a new type of technology that will work efficiently or more efficient if our humans uh, share part of the responsibility of thinking. And there are competences humans have that are based on emotions, emotional intelligence, creativity, intuition, that cannot be displaced at the moment by AI. Probably in the future, yes, but at the moment not. And if humans give more attention to that, and it's a field in which humans have not paid much attention in the last centuries, then probably we can develop a new culture that is as strong, valid and important as the culture of technology. Mm -hmm.